They say you should never fly too close to the sun. But if we never dare to challenge ourselves, how do we ever break new ground? The GT3 car is basically a, a pure racing car version of the 720S road car. Built specifically to FIA GT3 regulations and competes uh, worldwide in many different forms of endurance racing. One of the elements that makes a 720S GT3 unique in the world of GT3 racing is the, the carbon fibre monocoque that forms the core of the 720S GT3 car. And as you can probably see, aside from the, the, the mandatory safety cage, the monocoque itself is, is virtually untouched from the 720S road car. The benefits of us being able to use the carbon fibre monocoque are fourfold. So we've got the, the, the benefit of the low weight, low centre of gravity, very high stiffness, and also the safety of the monocage itself. So in terms of weight, the Monocage 2 itself weighs in the region of 100 kilos, which is very low compared to all of our competitors that are using a steel or an aluminium chassis. So for us, that gives us a massive advantage in being able to design and develop the rest of the car, knowing that we've got a very lightweight body. It's another benefit of having a stiff chassis is that uh, it allows the team to really extract the most from the car in terms of the response from any suspension adjustments or chassis changes that the, that the team and the driver want to make. One of the benefits of having a low centre of gravity for the monocoque is that combined with the mid-engine position means the overall car has a very central weight distribution. The low centre of gravity helps with the, the inertia and weight transfer during braking, acceleration, cornering, which makes the car nimble, agile, easy to drive and very predictable, which is essential for endurance racing and, and driving over long race stints. Any driver driving the 720S GT3, they'll feel pretty secure inside the car. Not only is it used in the original 720S monocage, but fitted with the FIA mandated uh, safety cage, the car should be extremely safe. Now these cars are racing 40, 50, 60 cars on the grid sometimes, and they're traveling at nearly 300 kilometers an hour. So for the driver to have that level of security and, and, and feel safe in the car is, is paramount. to think that McLaren pioneered a carbon fibre monocell in 1981, which is, you know, it's like nearly 40 years ago, which is incredible. The level of work and preparation other manufacturers have to go to to make a GT3 car from their steel or aluminium chassis is incredible. And, you know, we're, we're lucky to be able to start with a 720S monocage for our GT3 car, which, you know, we're the only manufacturer to do that. 